EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey everyone, Ben Hommeler here to talk about one of our new features to Dynasty Mode, which is custom conferences. Now this is not the custom conference you've seen in the past where you could just take one school, add them to another conference, and you had to remove a school to make that change. Now you can actually go in and grow or shrink a conference however you see fit. So, you know, last year the big rage was all the conference realignment and schools moving around, the possibility of super conferences with the Pac-16, for example. So here we're going to show what that's like because you can actually go in and live out what that would have been if that had happened. So we'll go in with Pac-12 as it currently stands. You saw that Colorado and Utah were already there. Let's go down, start raiding the Big 12 a little bit and grabbing some of those schools over. So we'll grab Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, and finally the crown jewel of Texas. So you've got your Pac-16 created here, but it's not laid out the way that they would have done it. So you want to make sure you get that set up so you have and one division being the Pac-8, the old Pac-8, and the, one, the other division being the new members. So we'll go ahead and slide UCLA over to the other division. Take Oklahoma, swap them out with USC. So now you've got them lined up the way that they would be if the Pac-16 had really happened. So the next step you can go into is actually making the conference rules for each conference. So go in here, and you can set different rules for each conference. How do you want their schedule to lay out? Do you want them to use protected rivals or not? And protected rivals meaning when they play their other division conference games, do they play a certain team every year? Like here we have Oregon and Arizona or Oregon State, Arizona State. They would play them every single year or you can go in and edit that to say, okay, instead of Oregon State playing Arizona State every year, we want them to play Oklahoma. So that's the protected rival. It swaps the other one. So that's who they're going to play every single year. Division names, you can edit those as well. So if you're a Big Ten fan and you don't want leaders and legends as your, as your division names, Feel free to go ahead and edit those to whatever you'd like them to be. Uh, when you have a conference that goes from less than 12 teams to 12 teams, you add divisions and you can now go ahead and edit what those are. Same thing when you have 12 teams, you can have a conference championship game. So you can set where the location for the conference championship game is going to be. The Pac-12 has theirs decided as the best conference record, hosts the championship game. But you can go in and set this at literally any stadium in the game you want to, including our high school stadiums, our practice facilities, wherever you want the game to be. You can set it up. So we'll go ahead and put the Pac-12 championship games. We'll go ahead and put it at the site of, say, why not the New Mexico Bowl? Sounds like a great spot. Uh, so you have a lot of different other options here you can do to set your conference rules. But that's not the end of it here. You can do one step further with the depth here by editing your BCS Bowl tie-ins. And so this gives you a chance to really set the lineup to be what you want it to be. So if you make Conference USA a 16-team super conference right here, send their champion. Instead of it going to the Liberty Bowl, send them to the Sugar Bowl. If you don't want the Big East to be in a BCS game, take them out. Go ahead and set, you can add in all eight automatic qualifiers, wherever you want to have in there. Get rid of all eight qualifiers and go ahead and have it just be based on BCS standings. Whatever you want to do, it's there. And so it's a great way to keep things fresh and change things up through the course of your dynasty, whatever you want them to be. The best part is this isn't just a setup thing, a dynasty setup. You can actually go through, through the course of each offseason and make these changes so you can keep things current. If schools start changing their affiliation throughout the course of your in the real world, you can make that edit during your dynasty. If friends start joining and, and dropping from the dynasty, you can make that edit and get everybody in the same conference if that's what you want to do. Really set things up however you want to do it. So a we'll flash forward with that Pac-16 into conference championship week. So take a look at some conference standings, see how it might have shook out if we had that Pac-16 actually take place. So you see the Pac-12 South champion being Texas. And then the North, it's Oregon. So you might have seen that Texas-Oregon matchup be your first ever Pac-16 championship game. That's a quick look at custom conferences. A lot of new announcements still to come, so stay tuned.